It is finally here. One of the year's most highly anticipated films, The Avengers Infinity War, is in theaters this weekend. So what better place to be than a local comic book store to talk all about the latest film in the Marvel Universe? I'm here with Mike Warner, the owner of Mike's Comic Books in New Baltimore. How are you doing, sir? I'm well. How are you today? I'm doing good. Of course, um, I'm here because I'm all excited about Avengers Infinity War, which is the new movie, of course, that's opening up. Everybody knows about that. But I was interested in just kind of the, the vibe at the comic book store these days. I, I was an old collector. I collected for several, several years, but haven't been into it in a while. What are some things that you notice right now in the comic book world? Like, What are the trending comic books? What's popular? Well, there's always good and popular books. Um, Batman always stays good, and you know the classics like they're bringing back Wolverine in the new Hunt for Wolverine. Mm -hmm. The Avengers stuff is really big because of the big Infinity, uh, Infinity movie. So yeah. Do you happen to see that whenever the movies come out? Do you kind of see a big correlation in uh, you know people coming into for that book? Like with Black Panther, back when I collected, nobody was reading Black Panther really. It was one of those ones that we had like one or two of in the in the store. But now I'd imagine it's it's a big seller. Uh, Black Panther, it's selling better. I mean, okay. I mean, they definitely help. And nowadays, the comic companies are getting smarter and tying more stuff in with the current movies and stuff that are coming out. So, the other thing I have to ask, because I'm in a comic book store, is, is The Walking Dead. Is that is that an ongoing, uh, hot selling book, uh, or is that kind of died off lately? Well, there's actually that was the other part of uh, the hot books. There's several good independent books that are going on right now, including Walking Dead. Also uh, from Image, a uh, book called Saga, okay. which is very, very popular. And um, you can find good books all over the place. When did you actually start uh, Mike's Comic Books? What's the history of your store? So we started in downtown New Baltimore on Washington Street uh, about 18 years ago. We have all kinds of events throughout the week. We um, also sell board games, uh, hobby board games, fun miniature games. But yeah, a lot of comic books, trade paperbacks. We're just looking to make sure that people have fun and find a good entertaining release from the everyday life. Yeah, this is Mike's Comics. We're on Green Street in New Baltimore. We are here to help and show people whatever they're looking for, we'll help them find it. So we've talked with Mike from Mike's Comics and Games in New Baltimore, and I know what you're thinking, all this hype about Avengers Infinity War, you wanna know how the film is. Was it any good? Here's my review. In a nutshell, the answer to that question is yes. Uh, this film is everything that you are expecting it to be. It is epic. It is larger than life. It is chock full of characters. Uh, and it's entertaining. Mo most of all, it's an entertaining chapter. I'm not going to spoil anything in this review. Uh, I am going to do a podcast next week that we'll talk in depth about on my Film Survivor podcast, which you can find on iTunes, by the way. But what I'm going to tell you about this film is that it's very, very good. It is amazing that they take this many characters and are able to juggle them in a way that makes you feel like you spend good time with all of the ones that you're wanting to. Uh, that being said, there are some characters that get pushed to the side. Most of all, though, the star of this film is the villain, Thanos. Any good comic book movie, any good superhero movie needs a good villain, and Thanos is a great villain. Uh, he is the culmination of everything that you know you could ever want, uh, and he actually expands on that. They uh, kind of humanize Thanos in a way and give him some backstory and some purpose without really trying to you know, uh, redeem him in any way. This guy is a bad, bad dude, but you kind of understand at least why he's doing what he's doing. In this film, all of the superheroes come together to battle Thanos as he tries to collect the Infinity Stones, uh, which will give him complete control and domination over everything. What I love the most about this film is that for once in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, there are stakes, there are consequences. 
these aren't just the superheroes flying around beating up on each other and then moving on to the next scene and it's refreshing and it kind of in a way makes all of the previous marvel movies better uh you know maybe they needed to go through that crazy you know air hanger battle where nothing mattered uh, during civil war in order for their battle with thanos to actually drive home you know the importance of what they're doing you just get the sense that this is a closing finally of something in the marvel universe even though it opens up possibilities and, and it still continues, you know, there's definitely going to be stories to follow. This is the first film in a long time in the Marvel Universe where it doesn't feel like the next chapter of something, you know, like it's an ongoing serial. This movie, though, has everything you would ever want. There are laughs, there are character interactions that you would probably uh, think are very cool, such as like Star-Lord meeting Iron Man for the first time, the Hulk battling Thanos all kinds of things, but there's also a number of twists, a number of unexpected emotional uh, pulls at your heart. I was just left out of breath a lot. This movie definitely has a lot in it. There are times where the movie seems to go on a little bit long. There are maybe moments that could have been cut. It's not a perfect film, but I think it's perfect for fans that have stuck with these characters and stuck with this universe. For that reason, I give The Avengers Infinity War an A-. Yes, there are some other films opening this weekend, but we're not even going to waste time with them on the air here today. If you want to know what I thought about movies such as The Endless or Backstabbing for Beginners, which also opened this weekend, check out my written reviews on access.com. That's AXS.com. That's the weekend in movies, but I want to know what you guys think. Hit me up on Twitter at Tom Santilli and at MovieShowPlus.com and let's have a discussion about all the latest films, but mostly about the Avengers Infinity War. That's going to do it for this week. Until next week, see you then.